Hello all, greetings from Flectra team, I am Akash Kodwani and today we are going to see Flectra's REST API module. So to install the REST API, you can simply go to app section and search for REST. Here you will find the REST API for Flectra. Simply installing it and to recheck that the REST API has been installed or not, you can again search for it and you can see that it is installed. Now to see the functionalities of REST API, you need to go into the settings and enable the developer's mode. After that, going back to settings and data structure option in that models, you can see that the REST API boolean has been checked. You can enable and disable the REST API for the models you need. And to see how the data is received using REST API, you can simply go to Postman and give the ping. For this, you require two types of requests. One is POST for getting the access token and the another one is GET request to get the data. So heading with POST, you can go with API slash auth slash and get tokens. Here in the body parameter, you need to pass username password and the db name and then simply send the request here you can see that you get the access token for your further request so now getting the data you can go with the get request by the path API and slash the model name from which you need the data and in the header section you need to pass the access token that you received in the previous request and send the request. This will return you the total from the RES partner. And if you need just a single record or a single item from the partner, you can simply go with model name and the ID. And here you can see the single record has been returned. And you can anytime enable or disable the REST API model for any of your model from the same data source and the model name. So thank you everyone. This was it for the REST API and see you back soon.